Valentes. Okay, today is we're here in Huckleberry Park with my husband, and he's going to give us a full review of his uh, Kona Mohana bike, mountain bike that he just had it or purchased, bought it six months ago. So right behind me is he's coming right now. Hey guys, here's my husband. He was gonna give you a full review of this Kona mountain bikes that he had it for six months ago. Okay, honey, how do you like your the Kona Mahana mountain bikes that you just bought it six months ago? Basically, six months, right? I've had this about six months and wasn't planning on buying a quality mountain bike at the time. But I'm happy I decided on this purchase. Uh, Kona Mahuna is the model. It retails about $1,000. You could definitely go higher than that if you want to. But for my purposes and my abilities, this is just fine. It's a hard tell. I use it maybe once a week, sometimes only once every couple of weeks, but even that's enough to keep me fresh. I really enjoy doing it. It's better, of course, for off-road. There's lots of good trails around our neighborhood, out in the desert areas and other parts of the de desert here in the Vegas Valley. A lot of trails, a lot I still have to explore, and it's really more fun. It seems like it moves more freely on the gravel and dirt than it does even if you put it on a cement highway. It really operates better that way off-road. And off-road's more fun anyway. I have my street motorcycle for road riding, so this is fine to go off-road. And uh, just being out in the desert, exploring things with a different perspective, different view that you don't get from riding on the road, makes it a lot more fun. Lots of interesting trails out there, up and down little hills. You go in little ravines. You find little jumps you can do here and there. I don't do anything too drastic, but... Uh, it's just fun to ride out in the desert. Did you get any of that? Yes. Did you um, did you shop around online before you decided to buy this kind of bike, the motor, mountain bike bicycle? Yeah, I did. At first, when I first decided I was going to buy one in the earlier days of this year, and I was just going to get a Walmart thing. I'm thinking, okay, I don't, I don't need anything special. I'll just get a Walmart mountain bike. You know, just give me the basics. Um, they were all sold out. A lot of people were buying them up at that time, and maybe that's for the better, because I decided to look online. I did some research into this brand and other brands that I was already familiar with, like Cannondale and Diamondback. I owned a Diamondback in the past. That was a fine bike. And several other brands. I actually, at that time, wasn't that familiar with Kona at all, although I know Kona is a popular brand, I found out, and has lots of different models. I saw this particular bike that I'm sitting on right now, online and I just it had a lot of visual appeal to me and I thought okay for that price uh, I said this will retail about a thousand that wasn't what I wanted to pay at the time but I said you know what it, it'll probably be worth it to get something a little bit better I don't have to deal with that Walmart quality and something that uh, I can be a little dare, more daring with when I take it off road. so I've been using this like I said at least once a week or two weeks off-road and it's been good no damage done to the bike i have had one flat tire that was actually just two weeks ago that was my first flat tire the last time but that's gonna happen you're out there you did go over a lot of sharp rocks which i did eventually that's gonna happen that comes naturally but it's an easy fix everything's good i still haven't even had my first tune-up yet uh, i don't feel like it needs it yet but I'll probably get one early next year. This is the middle of October right now. Anyway, it's a good bike. It has visual appeal. It's good enough for my abilities. It's good quality. The Kona Mahuna. And I'm glad I got it. Okay, guys. My husband left me already. He took uh, his mountain bike, of course. And I have my car with me. And that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching to Travel in Taste. I hope you like the full review that given with my husband. And please don't forget your comments, likes, and share. If you're new in this channel, please consider subscribing and hit that bell, please, so you will notified every time, every time, of course.
I uploaded a new video. So guys, bye for now. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take the shuttle bus, shuttle to terminal, baggage claim. We'll probably do Ebor City. It's been a while that we had the Ebor City.